It's called suboccipital release. So suboccipital release is a very general technique to help release all the suboccipital musculature, especially those muscles in the suboccipital triangle. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna basically hold your patient's head in your hand, so letting the, the occiput sit in the palms, and then you're gonna take your fingers, and I'm gonna actually turn the head so you guys can see, um, and you're gonna find the occiput and just the space below the occiput between the occiput and C2. So you can find the spinous process of C2 to know where about that is, and his is right about here. Hold on one second. Right about here. So this space between here and here is about where I wanna be. So I'm gonna place my fingers, hips in there on either side of the suboccipital space. And I'm gonna let his palm, or my, his uh, occiput sit in my palms. And then what I'm going to do is apply an anterior force and pull slight traction in a cephalad direction. And I'm just going to let gravity do its work on the rest of his head. And so we're going to sit here until I feel a softening or a release. Um, this technique, patients who get headaches typically really like, especially tension type headaches. Um, it just kind of helps take all of the pressure off of the cervical spine by pulling traction. It also helps to release those suboccipital muscles. So. Even if you don't get headaches, this is a really good technique to try. Um, and then if you, once you've released that area, you can actually move out laterally so that you're still in the suboccipital space but more on the lateral side of it and repeat the technique. Or if you've done more of a lateral, you can move in medial and do the technique again more medially.